going to be a fun one simply because we have a former, a dude who had a, a lot of buzz on him until one, you get the drop foot against Anthony Smith, get kicked in the knee the wrong place. And then, you know, this guy right here, AJ, this guy, Jamal Hill, sweet dreams, right? He did Jimmy Crude a little bit dirty. Let's put some respect on the light heavyweight champion's name. I'll just say this, man. Those are not two. Those are two losses that you shouldn't be ashamed of, and he's still ranked for a reason. But now you fight a guy who is just as powerful as you are, if not more powerful, and who can get things done really quickly here. So I will say I'm going to give you my whole outlook of this matchup. Jimmy Crute can win this fight with just an early blitz. Alonzo Menafield can win this fight with just one counter strike off of his back foot. It does not matter, right? The one preface that I have is that Jimmy Crute, if we remember correctly, right? He'll walk forward. He'll hit you with some good shit. He'll drop some hooks on you. Start playing that bob and weave. And then just do a crazy blast double and get the fight to the ground. If Jimmy Crute can make it past round one, I'm having a hard time seeing Alonzo Menafield winning this fight. But then again... Let's not forget, this guy, Alonzo Menafield, and uh, going past round one, I mean, that's, that's not something that he particularly <laughs> likes to do. So if you're looking at his last two wins, both first-round knockouts, but then you got to think about it. One guy you beat, remember, Moserov, Askar Moserov, the dude who was like the, the weird fake record, padded record? Okay. William Knight, you go to a decision against William Knight. What did William Knight do, AJ? What did William Knight do in that fight? Tied him up. Tied him up. All right, brother. What are you seeing? I mean, I, I, I'm with you, Derek. I think the <laughs> earlier the fight ends, Alonzo Manifield all day, but the second those starts, the, that time starts clicking down, you just see the shift start uh, differentiating because Park, or Jimmy Crude, excuse me, is uh, a dog. And like yes. you said, he has that blast double, and nonetheless, will he do it on two good legs? This dude will do it when he has a torn ACL, mm -hmm. drop foot and all. Yeah. Jimmy Crude don't give a fuck, all right? And being as the first fight of the night, open it up, um, it's going to be a very enthralled Jimmy crew to try to get back to what he had because he was on a run. Mm -hmm. He was almost, you know, he was getting a lot of hype behind him. Now, that being said, man, all you need is <clears throat> a little bit of excitement a little bit of adrenaline the next thing you know you eat a big right hand from alonzo yeah. menafield and you're waking up with the boys in the back you know so it's a very scary fight and a very exciting fight i'm t again I, I don't know if it's because it's early year i feel like we can play around a little Derek. i'm taking the exciting route right here man i am going alonzo menafield i'm going the powerhouse and I'm going with an early TKO. You can see a plus 250. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be an, an interesting one if Jimmy Crude is willing to play the fi play with fire. If he's safe, smart, and makes it to round you know, two and a half, three, and we really see history play itself out again, which we've talked about millions and millions of times with Alonzo Menafield, uh, that gas tank does wear out no matter how much he works on it. That's right. That's kind of That's how right. it's going to go, man. I mean, I, like I said, I'm looking for the early knockout, but the second those talk clocks start fading, Jimmy Crute, look for it, man. Yeah, I will say you you have to be kind of a fool to not at least see real value in that plus 250 TKO for Alonzo Menafield. Like they call the man atomic for a reason. He hits you. Good things don't happen. But Jimmy Crute is a dude who I think is so... He's only really lost to the top of the top. Outside of Misha Serkinov, where he got Peruvian necktied in the first round, just early submission, he's only lost to the top of the top, right? But his a couple of his wins, right? Like, to submit the, the submission guy, he camored uh, Paul Craig, right? Like, come on, you know what I mean? Knocked out uh, Sam Alvey, yeah, so what? Michael Alexachuk camored him, right? That dude is a beast right there. The thing that really won me over, man, is uh, him knocking out the dude who's making his UFC return on this card, but that's Bukowskis. If you know what Benessis Bukowskis is capable of in terms of when he hits people, what happens to them, and you saw Jimmy Crute walk through this man like he was nobody's business, like, I was like, all right, Jimmy Crute, if he lands on Menafield, we can have some real problems too. But what I really do like, man, to those submissions, man, the ground and pound and the submissions from Jimmy Crute, I think if he can get that top control, we're going to see some real problems. So I'm going to keep it, I mean, as simple as possible, man. Give me a submission win for Jimmy Crute. I don't know if he'll be able to knock out uh, Alonzo Menafield, but if you could submit the likes of uh, the Alexa Chucks, the uh, Paul Craigs, you know what I'm saying, and start working your way that way, I think uh, I think some good things are going to be happening here for uh, Jimmy Crute. So that is my lone finish on the night. Jimmy Crute submission over Alonzo <laughs> Menafield. Don't know if we'll see it happen, but I do think that is going to be an absolute fun one.